Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So before you watch this video, you know, I would request you to go and watch my yesterday's video. Because pretty much market has played out exactly like the way we expected it to. Now, why I thought this, I'll tell you by the, all the logics, okay? So let's get started. And we analyze tomorrow what can happen in Sensex expiry as well. So first we'll start with Bank Nifty, Nifty and Sensex. Now before we start the analysis, I'm just reminding you that we have a workshop coming up very soon which is going to be on March 9th and 10th in Bangalore. In case you want to learn how to read price action and trade directionally based on it, you can go in for the workshop by the link given in the description below. If you do like our YouTube videos, you're going to love the workshop. So let's get started with the analysis. Okay, so if you watch my yesterday's video, I'm sure you like heard this part where I told you, if the market goes down today, I'm not interested in shorting the market. I'm talking about fresh shots, overnight ke shots. Nahi. Intraday may when we come down no, even more and then do that. The rolling part of it, I'm not interested in that. Now, why I told you that, I'll tell you. Yesterday we got a Maru Bozo candle, right? This one. Now, just check. Today we have a green candle after that. Now, let's look what is happening. So, if you check this day and in the next gap down, anyone who tried to like short calls fresh, he might have gotten tra uh, trapped pretty badly here. Okay. This is the first instance. Second instance, check out this red candle. Okay. These two candles. So after the gap down or if the market went down, if someone tried shorting, he's going to be badly trapped here. It's the second instance. Okay. Third instance, I'll show you these two candles. Look here. Next day, people who forgot to sell on the red candle day, you know, they'll try to sell calls and they'll butcher that day, intraday. Day. So today also a lot of people could have potentially lost in the call spike, particularly towards the end. So this is the logic for why I was not interested in shorting if the market came down. Okay. I told you yesterday also, yesterday's candles high low, it was 902 points, okay? And if I add RK low ke pass mein, so approximately since yesterday's high, 1100 points down market has come. What does this mean? This means that whoever tried to short at the top, they are sitting in 1100 points profit. Most likely what will they do? They have to book their profits. They won't be holding like for a 10,000 point profit or 5,000 point. They get the profit, they book it, okay? So you should note down this day. Today, I suspect, you know, intraday strangle sellers would have done decently well today. And also one more logic I need to tell you. See, this was the support we were looking at from the daily chart. The multi time time analysis is extremely important. I told you in the yesterday's video as well. Just looking at support resistance. Okay. I'm, I'm seeing all these levels. Is every level important? I don't think so. Okay. So you need to get the levels from the multi time time analysis. So this is the level we got. Okay. 46, 300 on the downside. Now it was tested one around two and fourth we got a break okay now this was a support now what i told you yesterday if the market comes up till here it can come down again that's what i told you now see where what market did today this is simple support resistance okay not too much price required for this so market where does market reverse from exactly near this resistance zone resistance is never like one number it's a zone okay so from that zone it should reverse yeah i didn't do much by that time because the premiums had vanished okay but this was the logic I told you yesterday. Even if it comes till 46,400, I'm expecting it to go down after it comes there. So I think a lot of people who don't know price, okay, they would probably be trapped very badly here in these three candles today. It is also possible that, you know, the MTM could have vanished. Gold, it is possible if they are not good in risk management particularly, they would have lost it all. So now the question is, what can we expect from the coming tomorrow and also the coming few days? I'll take it to the daily chart. हम क्या ट्राई करेंगे अभी हमको एक रेड कैंडल मिला है उसके नीचे ग्रीन कैंडल मिला है तो उन दोनों को क्लब करके विल ट्राई टू सी व्हाट यूजुअली हैपेंस ओके फर्स्ट थिंग है रेड ग्रीन मैं मार्क कर रहा हूं मुझे लग रहा है मार्केट अगले तीन दो तीन दिन एटलीस्ट इट कैन स्पेंड इन दिस रेंज नाउ द रेंज आई विल टेल यू ऑन द अपसाइड इट्स 46750 लेवल ऑन द डाउनसाइड इट्स 456650 लेवल so market can spend at least like one to three trading sessions inside this range and reduce your stops. Okay. When you're trading inside this range, because the range is very big, you can't be like sitting, you can't be taking like huge stop losses and like lose weight in the next week. Why I'm telling about this too, I'll tell you, look here. So after these two, one and two days, market was inside the range for like the next two days and then it gave a gap up and then it sold off. So like two trading sessions you got in that range. Now look here, this was a very big range as well. Iske baad one, two, three, four, five. I mean this whole period it spent in that range after that. Okay. Sort of the same thing happened here. Okay. Next three, four days market was in that range. So that's pretty much what we are expecting it 
now go, moving forward if it starts to come down so i'll look to sell you know below the low of today so the low of today is 45661 so if i want to initiate bearish trades i'll be looking to sell below the low of today otherwise you know i'm expecting some strangle kind of a market for the next 2 3 cycles now i told you in the next 2 days 15 minute chart pair i'm expecting market to play out in this range so let's see if that happens at the break of this range okay i'll try to form a view if it breaks on the upside i'll form a bullish view if it breaks on the downside i'll form a, form a bearish view now let's look at nifty now nifty okay i told you 21875 is a support now below that if we get a daily candle closing okay below this so what is going to happen it can form an m pattern okay if you get this thing in an m pattern market will slide down pretty quickly most probably so we have to wait for that m to happen now nifty mein two instances i'll be bearish first thing if you gap down okay below 21875 and the first 15 minute range if you break on the downside then i'm interested in shorting in nifty additionally okay so we have the support on the downside 21875 now it's been tested once and twice if it goes up we'll see nifty but if it's tried but if it tries to come down for the third time we'll be looking for bearish trades then okay if it approaches the support again and again now the more number of times you approach the support the more weaker it gets now in sensex tomorrow okay i'm expecting some decent premiums to be there let's see if i'm right or wrong if i'm wrong i won't be too much interested in taking one or big kind of a risk in sensex but uh, let's see today it's trying to form a doji candle still 4 minutes to go i'm recording this video before the market closes you have to head out somewhere else so in sensex if you break 72050 on the long side i'll be looking for bearish trades okay below this level and now because market has already made a big move most probably market can go sideways so it can be a sideways day tomorrow in sensex let's see i told you for the bearishness you have to break 72050 on the long side हिंदी में क्विकली मैं बोल देता हूँ आपको मैंने इंग्लिश वालों को क्या बताया रेड कैंडल के बाद मैंने बताया था कि शॉर्ट करना नहीं है क्यों नहीं है क्योंकि अगले दिन देखो क्या होता है ये रेड कैंडल फॉर्म हुआ उसका अगला दिन देखो ग्रीन कैंडल तो ग्रीन कैंडल के लो के पास इमेजिन करो कोई कॉल बेच रहा है तो अगर वो स्पाइक होगा तो कितना ब्रूटली हारने वाला है वो वो सोचो आप तो ये सिंपल सिंपल लॉजिक हमको सिर्फ चार्ट देख के समझेगा और कहीं से नहीं समझेगा तो ये देखो सेम ये रेड और ग्रीन कैंडल के बाद नेक्स्ट डे अगर रेड कैंडल का गैप डाउन पर शॉर्ट किया है किसी ने तो कॉल सेल में मरा है वो विच वी डोंट वांट टू हैपन फिर मार्केट यूजुअली क्या करता है एक रेड और ग्रीन के बीच में मार्केट रेंज में चले जाता है तीन चार दिन के लिए सो so, अभी क्या हो सकता है सेम चीज मार्केट अभी भी हो सकता है ओके सो प्रोबेबिलिटी वाइज इट कैन हैपन अगले दो तीन ट्रेडिंग सेशन यही रेंज में बिता है तो so, ऊपर की तरफ हम फोर्टी सिक्स ऑन द अप और नीचे में फोर्टी फाइव ऑन द डाउन साइड अगर ये रेंज के ब्रेक करेंगे हम ये रेंज को तो वो डिरेक्शन में ट्रेड लेंगे हम अभी निफ्टी में हमें सेम 21875 का लेवल है 21875 में अगर इसके नीचे खुलता है पर्टिकुलरली गैप के साथ अगर खुलता है नीचे में या ओके इफ इट ब्रेक्स दैट लेवल देन बेरिशनेस के बारे में सोचना है क्योंकि एम पैटर्न बन जाएगा सर एम पैटर्न यूजली अच्छा रहता है बेरिशनेस खेलने के लिए अप डाउन एंड ऐसा एम बन सकता है वो और सेंसेक्स में नीचे की तरफ हमारा लेवल है सेवेंटी इसके नीचे अगर जाता है सेंसेक्स में कल तो सेंसेक्स में बेरिशनेस के साथ खेल सकते हैं इंट्राडे में वरना मुझे नेक्स्ट दो तीन दिन यही रेंज में बिताएगा ऐसे लग रहा है मार्केट तो लेट सी दिफ दिस वर्क्स ऑन नॉट कल मोस्टली सेंसेक्स में अच्छे प्रीमियम होने चाहिए क्योंकि मार्केट बड़े रेंज मूव किया है ऑलरेडी तो ऑप्शन सेलर्स डिमांड मोर मनी बट अगर प्रीमियम नहीं है अच्छे सेंसेक्स में कल आई वोट हैट काइंड ऑफ इंटरेस्ट टू ट्रेड इट so thank you so much for watching let me know if our videos are helpful to you and this weekend i'll try to record like uh, two learning videos for you one is going to be i charts second one is going to be whatever you guys try to comment okay so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit the like button okay so the target likes for this video let's try to give it 450 and let's see if we achieve that or not okay so thank you for the support and thank you for watching i hope you all have a great day